Welcome to the Genetics Laboratory of Tomorrow. You may have heard of such terms as genes, chromosomes, and other genes, but what does it all mean? These are some very difficult questions that doctors and scientists have been asking themselves for centuries. Could we find the answers here, in the Genetics Laboratory? To find out, we'll need the help of a clinical scientist. This is Frankie. As you can see, she's very busy, but she's agreed to show us around. This doctor has been waiting for quite a while with a patient sample. But fear not, for Frankie is here to take it into the laboratory. She'll take it to specimen reception to book it in. Ah, there she is now. What's that you've got, Frankie? A sample? Oh no, it's the wrong sort of sample. Oh dear, she better go contact that doctor. Here we are again, and there's Frankie. Looks like it's the right sample type this time. She's much happier. Now that we have the right sample, we can extract DNA. This is done using our state-of-the-art DNA extraction robot. But just look at that thing go. That's some science right there. Once the samples have been extracted, they're stored here in one of our many very large freezers until they're needed for testing. Testing for all sorts of different diseases is carried out by our team of highly competent technologists. With a little bit of help from our seemingly copied and pasted PCR machines and sequencing machines named after Harry Potter characters. When sequencing is complete, the data is looked at by one of our bioinformaticians. I mean, bioinformaticians, like Adriana here. She will make sure everything is hunky-dory before transferring the data over. She's now doing some magical computer thingy to make the data look nice. My, it's thirsty work. But she sure seems to know what she's doing. The data is now ready to be looked at by a clinical scientist. Ah, there's Frankie again. And thanks to new, modern developments, scientists are able to analyze the results from home. Come on, Frankie. Sleep is for the dead. Well, that's about all we have time for. And that concludes the story of genetics. There is absolutely nothing else to say. We've covered absolutely... Just just seen the first draft. Just checking you haven't forgotten about us. No, 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 no. We no, we'd never forget about um, including all the cytogenetic stuff. Okay. No, don't worry about it. It's Just all checking. good. And of course, let's not forget about our state-of-the-art cytogenetics facilities. With many culturing hoods and incubators, we can easily look at patients' chromosomes. Karyotyping and microarrays let us check for large changes in the genome. How's that karyotype, Leanne? Top notch. And here's Hannah, looking at data from a microarray. How's the analysis going, Hannah? Good! Oh dear, Frankie, what a terrible joke. Well, that's about all we have time for, folks. Thanks for tuning in. Say goodbye, Frankie. Goodbye, Frankie.